We're here at Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. I'm here with Andrea Peiro from Cujo AI. Andrea, good to see you. Hi, Ray. Good to see you too. So, um, you've actually just been announced uh, yes. as the president of Cujo AI. Tell us about that and where you've come from in the yeah, industry. Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, I spent the last five years uh, at Comcast. Okay. Um, I funded a company uh, about 10 years ago that Comcast acquired in uh, uh, 2014. Oh, okay. Um, to be correct, I co-founded the company. And uh, uh, since 2014, uh, I spent uh, most of my time uh, running the high-speed data product portfolio at Comcast, including developing the X5 platform. Oh, okay. That is today the core of the high-speed data uh, offering. Right. In the last year, I built the advanced product group, among which uh, we developed uh, a solution for um, in-home security from okay. a data protection point of view right. that led me to, to uh, where I am today. Well, that's, right? that makes a lot of sense of why you are where you are now yes. uh, at Cujo AI. So um, in terms of what you've been seeing in the market then in these past few years and now what you're seeing at, at, at Cujo AI, what's happening out there in the market? What, what's happening in terms of, of services and for consumers? that's making what Cujo AI does uh, so relevant to people out there today? Uh, absolutely. Uh, consumers, uh, businesses out there are growing concerned uh, uh, every day more about the integrity and, and, and protection of their information, right? Be personal information, be business information, but information in general is becoming uh, a, 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 almost a currency in, yep. in the black markets. And, uh, um, Protecting uh, your home network, protecting your business network uh, is uh, the starting point uh, of, uh, of, of making sure that uh, your information is, uh, is not taken over by the people that you don't want to have. Yeah. And uh, what we're seeing is that the, the, this growing awareness uh, is corresponding in the, in the operator's market uh, with the, the, the growing concern of not having a solution for, for customers right. that addresses these needs, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Operators today uh, sell to, to, to consumers and businesses the large majority of the connectivity services in the world, including their gateways, including their, their, their Wi-Fi components, and uh, consumers look at them uh, for the type of protection that they expect uh, right. uh, uh, as a default. And, uh, so what we're seeing is that, um, and we sell almost exclusively uh, into the operator's market, right? So we're seeing that the awareness that there is a business for an operator uh, to pursue and there is a need uh, for consumers that needs to be met uh, is, uh, is, becoming, uh, is becoming well understood now. And it's very different from a few years ago, right? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, uh, the, the, the business awareness case- is much greater now, Absolutely. Yeah. The business case uh, on, uh, hey, do we need to have security, we need to have privacy, we need to have protection, doesn't need to be made anymore uh, among operators because it's, it's there. Okay. So obviously, I mean, security is, is such a big deal now, and like you said, across sort of all market segments and, and, and in all verticals. So there's a lot of companies as well trying to solve a lot of the security challenges and issues. So what makes Cujo AI different from the other companies out there in the market? Absolutely. Uh, the, the core of our technology is built uh, on machine learning, right? Okay. It's uh, um, a, a form of artificial intelligence that allows us uh, uh, to be very forward-thinking and forward-looking in our development because uh, we are addressing some of the core limitations of uh, existing technologies or legacy technologies. Uh, the, the primary uh, being that legacy technology relies on deep packet inspection right. to understand uh, what is contained uh, inside uh, the transmissions. And uh, what we do instead, uh, we look at how information moves uh, in the home, outside of the home, and we create models that don't require the specific knowledge of what's in the information, but focus on understanding how information moves. Okay. So what that does, it solves two major problems that are particularly important for operators. The first is we don't breach any privacy, right? Because we don't know what information we are looking at, okay. we just develop these uh, heuristic models that can discriminate if that is bad or good. And the second thing that we do is uh, uh, not doing deep packet inspection, 
the, um, the cost uh, from a computational standpoint uh, uh, is very low. Oh, okay. So operators uh, uh, can embed our technology within their home gateways or their business gateways and uh, resolve all of the problems in the cloud and uh, classify the traffic without necessarily looking inside the traffic itself. Oh, okay. And there are also regulatory concerns, right, that operators need to, need, need to adapt to that are particularly uh, important to respect that our solution complies with very well. Okay. Um, and uh, the, the second domain of differentiation is that uh, our uh, machine learning models are applicable across uh, the four main uh, areas of, uh, uh, let's say, digital protection or, 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 or digital safety. Um, that consumers perceive. Um, consumers don't really pay attention to the difference between privacy, data security, digital networking security. They look at the, the, their life uh, as yes. being affected by the digital interaction and they yep. want to know that... Uh, uh, they're not being compromised not, in, in exactly any way. That's exactly right, they're right. not at right. risk. Yeah. So uh, what, what the Kuja solution brings together, the ability to understand really well what devices are connected to your home network. Right. And uh, from that, uh, we can uh, detect uh, and block uh, malicious actors uh, without necessarily impairing the main functionality of your network. Example, um, if uh, your um, baby monitor is being compromised, we can block uh, the compromising action without preventing you from accessing your, your baby monitor right. service. Okay. Uh, it becomes particularly relevant in the case of security, right? If I block you from viewing your own security feeds, right. might as well not have in the right, camera. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Uh, machine learning is deep enough in this case. The models are, are deep enough to understand not just uh, that something is bad, but how to block it in a very selective way. Okay. The third thing we do is that we take the same knowledge, the same models, uh, and we apply to content access control that in the consumer space is called parental control. Right, and not just uh, on web browsing, but more importantly on uh, the use of applications. Okay. Right, children today are particularly savvy, <laughs> and uh, they have uh, been shown to be very resourceful in in, in overcoming the basic parental controls. Well, a a ML is a good answer for that. Uh, right, broader okay. spectrum, web apps, uh, but also smart enough to understand uh, without you telling the system, hey, I want you to block this and this, what is that should be blocked based on certain kind of uh, more holistic characteristics that you're presenting. Okay. Could be the age of the children, could be the profile of the uh, public access user, or right, maybe a church wants to provide a different type of access uh, right. than, okay. than them all, right? Okay. And finally, there is the privacy element, right? We are really making huge uh, progress uh, on uh, helping consumers uh, um, reduce uh, the risk uh, of uh, exposing their own private information, starting, as an example, from uh, uh, advertisement tracking. Okay. It is becoming a major issue because uh, we, we, we are truly exposed in the more intimate preferences, right, in our lives uh, through this uh, very complex uh, ad tracking technology that is surrounding us anyway. Right, okay, excellent. So. That's a great level of detail, and I think the important thing here is that the, you're not just talking about it, the company is already doing it. Kujo AI is already working very closely and extensively with a, a number of major Absolutely. network operators. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit uh, about that? We do have uh, 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 two operators that we have announced. One is Comcast, and uh, the other one is Charter. Okay. Uh, but we do have... Uh, uh, a large number of operators that uh, we are close to going to market with. Okay. And uh, the ability to work very simply and very effectively in short periods uh, with operators to enable them to bring uh, uh, our solution to market in a very customized, very uh, white label, let's say, environment uh, is uh, allowing us to make a very rapid progress. And uh, as you know, in, uh, in machine learning, the larger the pool of data, the more accurate the results uh, right. and uh, and becomes a vicious circle, right? So we, we believe very strongly that uh, our um, very sizable already install base is giving us uh, a po very powerful edge uh, over uh, the, the future okay. of, uh, of our industry. Well, those are, those are great references to have yes, and, uh, yeah. and I'm sure that that's, that's going to play very well into, into the coming years. So Andrea, thanks Thank very much for sharing really the story with us. Your help. Thank you.
Thank you.